Hurricane Ian is bearing down on the western coast of Florida as a major Category 4 hurricane, threatening the region with damaging winds, dangerous flooding and outages. Here's a look back at some of the worst hurricanes to hit the U.S. in history. 7. Hurricane Katrina 2005 One of the most devastating hurricanes in American history was Hurricane Katrina. Near Burris, Louisiana, Katrina made landfall as a Category 3 storm with winds of up to 125 miles per hour. More than 1,800 people died as a result of the hurricane and its aftereffects, mostly people from Louisiana and Mississippi. With an estimated $170 billion in damages, Katrina ranks as the most expensive storm to ever hit the United States. 6. Hurricane Andrew 1992 With maximum sustained winds of 165 miles per hour, Category 5 Hurricane Andrew made landfall in southern Florida. After making landfall in South Miami-Dade County, the hurricane proceeded into the Gulf of Mexico and later made a second landfall as a Category 3 hurricane close to Point Cheverill, Louisiana. Andrew was to blame for at least 15 fatalities and damage at an estimated $26 billion. 5. Hurricane Camille 1969 Only four Category 5 storms have made landfall in the U.S. since 1900, including Hurricane Camille. Along the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, Camille made landfall. The hurricane's true maximum sustained winds are unknown because the storm destroyed all wind recording equipment in the region. However, estimations suggest that the hurricane's highest sustained winds were around 175 miles per hour along the shore, delivering a storm tide of more than 24 feet. Southeast Mississippi, Dauphin Island, the coast of Alabama, and the Mobile Metro region sustained the most damage. 256 people died as a result of the storm, and damage totaled more than $1.4 billion. 4. The Great Labor Day Hurricane 1935 On Labor Day 1935, a hurricane with winds up to 185 miles per hour and devastating storm surges hit the Florida Keys. More than 400 people died as a result of the Category 5 storm's strong winds and high tides. Veterans of World War I who were working on a project to connect the Keys to the railway were among those killed. The cost of the damages was estimated to be over $6 million. 3. San Felipe Okeechobee Hurricane 1928 As this hurricane made its way from the Leeward Islands to Florida, more than 2,000 people perished. 312 people died in Puerto Rico when the hurricane originally made landfall there as a Category 4 hurricane with winds of more than 140 miles per hour. A few days later, the hurricane made landfall close to Palm Beach, Florida. The hurricane created a lake surge of 6 to 9 feet, which left inland Lake Okeechobee in the state with the highest storm damage. Florida saw more than 2,000 fatalities, largely as a result of lake surge. 2. Galveston Hurricane 1900 One of the deadliest natural disasters in American history, this Category 4 storm that struck the island city of Galveston, Texas, killed hundreds of people. The entire island as well as other areas of the Texas coast were submerged by storm tides that reached heights of up to 15 feet. Over $30 million in damage and an estimated 8,000 fatalities were mostly the result of high tides. The majority of the city's structures were damaged, leaving more than 10,000 citizens homeless. 1. The Chenier Caminata Hurricane 1893 A Category 4 hurricane with winds of more than 130 miles per hour made landfall on the tiny island of Chenier Caminata, Louisiana, more than a century ago. Only a few of the town's 1,471 homes were left standing after the little fishing settlement was devastated by a storm surge of about 18 feet, killing more than 770 people. As the hurricane passed across the Mississippi Delta and into southern Mississippi and Alabama, it is estimated that 2,000 people died. These were seven of the worst hurricanes to hit the U.S. Don't forget to subscribe.